Thanks, Kristen. And I want to echo Chris for thanking you for organizing this amazing event. I'm glad you guys wanted to. And I also agree that it's fantastic that we're looking at things like the history and the, the architecture and the cultural potential of the corridor. Uh, for a lot of people in the room, though, the immediate uh, concern is what happens in between the two curves, how we can ensure the safety of the over 1,000 cyclists who use that road every day. Uh, last year was the first year in Toronto's history that we had a net loss of on street bike lanes. And if we lose Jarvis this year, it'll be the second year in a row, which is embarrassing for us as a, as a large city in North America. So I have two quick things to say. One is I want to encourage people who are in the room who cycle on Jarvis to please come to the microphone and tell the stories about why you cycle on Jarvis and how it will impact your life to have those bike lanes removed. Because one thing we're hearing from other people is, oh, who cares? Why don't you use a bike on Sherborne? Why don't you bike on church? And I want to hear from people who bike on Jarvis how it will impact your life if those bike lanes are removed. And to you, counselor, can you give us advice? What can we do as cyclists to advocate for these bike lanes? How can we preserve safety on Jarvis? Thank you. Thank you very much for that question. I think should be important to you is to really, I think, all the leaders that have said this year. They've done a very good job of trying to keep the issue on the table. Um, obviously, there was, a, I'm sure it's going to come up at some point, there was an announcement made today that a legal opinion was expressed, and uh, it came out in a 12 page uh, letter, so there was that particular route, and the city of Toronto has to respond to that uh, legal opinion. But I also think that um, things that residents can do um, uh, to support uh, the bike lanes or the community to support the bike lanes is that if you want to keep those bike lanes, then use it. Make your presence felt. There are times when there is a lineup of traffic and I don't see as many cyclists. Right? That's just a that's a just sheer numbers of, of, that we have to be with. So if you want to keep something, you use it. If you don't want to lose a player, you use it. If you want to reclaim a street that's been taken over by elements that you don't like, then you've got to go back and occupy it. And uh, I think that's what the occupy movement is about. And this is something that's important to you, not only do you ask for to keep it, then maybe you should start asking to extend it. And perhaps another thing is that you don't celebrate Sherbert if you're going to lose Jarvis. Maybe that's part of the discussion for the community is that, you know, do you celebrate one thing by losing the other? Or do you, or do you say, you know, if these two streets are, are blocks away, perhaps we should keep both of them. Because by removing the bike lanes on Jarvis, I don't think we're going to remove the cyclists. They're going to continue to cycle, they'll just be doing it unsafely. 